Oh, uh, you can't trust no Slide cars. over just a little bit for the <laughs> Now, perfect world. We got plenty of room. All right, we got plenty of room. So, um, we'll talk about server polish here in just a minute, but we just practice the log room. First thing I want to do is get my spine board. And these straps are usually in place, so that's a good thing. Obviously, I'm going to put the head up here. Now, it takes a minimum, minimum of four people to put somebody on the long spine board. So keep that in mind, because we're dealing with what? Trauma. What's the definition of trauma? Anything that interrupts your life. Something that's interrupted your lifestyle right then. All right? So we're dealing with trauma. Could be unconscious, could be conscious. Don't know, but it's trauma. Play the back problems, leg problems, or whatever, but we will make this patient portable, so that's why we use the long spine board. All right? Next thing we're going to have to have, and this is part of your patient assessment in the trauma, you know, scene safety, BSI, uh, mechanisms of injury, number of patients, additional resources, all those things come into play right here. What's my general impression of the patient? Is he awake, alert? Is he unconscious? But he's laying in the most perfect position for us to deal with, which will probably never happen again. Now, first thing we will do is always approach a trauma victim or any unconscious victim from the head. Before we do anything, we know that this trauma involved this patient's injury, C -spine. we want to gain control of C -spine. C spine. Exactly right, C spine. Before I ever say anything, why is that? So he doesn't watch. If I come up saying, Mr. Lord, I'm an EMT, I'm here to help, what's he going to do? He's going to catch you. Exactly. So what is he doing? He's moving his head. All right. So first thing, before I do anything, I want to come up on gain control of the C-spine. Now I can ask him anything I want to. All right. What else am I checking? Pulse. Pulse. Got a good chronic Skin pulse. Skin temperature. Skin temperature. temperature. Breathing. Breathing. I can see his breathing. See his eyes are open. I can see everything. I see his chest rising and falling. I can see if there's any major problems going on from this point down because I'm looking from the head down. All right. So now I can make some assessments and we can go from there. All right. So I want to turn my C-spine, all the thing I'm doing is just stabilizing his head. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just holding his head still. All right? And I'll tell him, sir, hold your head still. I want to give this to somebody else. So somebody else, Mr. Davis. Now, here's how we transfer. I'm just simply roll my hands up. He's going to put his hands under mine. You got control of C-spine? Yep. You got it? Yes. Okay, good. We, I verbalized it and made sure he had it in place. So that's what you want to do. Now, who's in charge of the patient? He, he is. is. Person at the head, always. <clears throat> Make now, sure you're in a comfortable position, too, because you're going to be there for a while usually. Probably. I mean, it, it's yeah. uncomfortable at this point in time, but there again. Now, I need three people. I need two on this side and one on this side. So, whoever wants to do that. I need two people on this side, one on this side. <clears throat> now, yes, sir. Uh, that's four guys. We had two. Come up. Come on. Come on. Hey, one more. Everybody's going to get an opportunity to do this. I'm going to start singing the out here. All right. Good. Now, the side that I put the large spine board on is going to determine which way we're going to roll him. Which way we're going to roll the patient. We're going to roll him up on his right side. All right. If, if they had an injury to the right side, we always want to roll them to the injured side. Keep that in mind. We want to roll them to the injured side. Here's why. If this leg here was painful, swollen, mid-shaft deformity of the mid-shaft femur, and we rolled him to the left, what would that leg do? Flop over the roof. Exactly. If we roll him on the floor, what's it going to do? It's going to stabilize a little bit. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so always, if you have to roll them, roll them to the injured side. This person got a back injury, and we're going to do two or three different things, but we're going to roll them, whichever side we can put the board on, we're going to roll them to the opposite side. Does that make sense? Because we've got to slide the board up under. All right? So I can do my rapid trauma assessment right here. You know, he's got the control of the head. So I initially had control of the head, so if I'm going to be treating this patient, I'll let him do C-spine. I'll do my rapid trauma assessment. All right? Now, we're ready to put him on the long spine board. I'll take the head blocks. And I simply just take one side off. Take this side off right here. Okay? Undo the strap. Tim? Yes. You log roll to the uninjured side. Uninjured side? Okay. Yes. I am 
Yes, correct. Frame right moment. Roll to the uninjured side. Keep that in mind. All right. Now, some of the straps, <laughs> what? Some of the straps kind of clip in place, and there's another spine board back there that's got those. So use them all because you're going to see different variations. Now, we may have to adjust these straps, but I think I got them adjusted pretty close accordingly. Okay? So now, to log roll this patient, you two guys kneel down, take his right arm, put it above his head. There you go. Here. There you go. Okay. Put this arm across his chest. Now. Here. Here. Put your hands across. Here. And down there. There you go. Kind of space yourself out. Now, who's in charge of this patient? Person at the head. Person at the head. So we're we'll going to log roll on three. So one, two, three log rolls as a unit. Hold his head. We we'll assess the back. Cause why? Trauma. Trauma. That and what else we fix to do? We fix to cover it up. Cause yeah, it's the last time we see it. Very good. So I don't see any signs of trauma. And you hold his leg down. Sorry. Oh, he's not going. So we slide the spine board up to where the head kind of meets the pad. Now we can tilt it a little bit. Now on three, we log rolling back. One, two, three. Okay. Don't do anything else. Keep going. All right. Now he's parsing on the board. How do we adjust him? Everybody grab and slide. Okay. A Z method. We slide him down as a unit, and then back in a straight line. So we slide him at an angle. So grab a hold of his shirt. We grab hold of his belt. Okay. And the same thing. Okay. Grab his shirt here somewhere. You hold the board. Do I need to pull this arm back first? No, you're fine. Okay. All right. On three. One, two, three. Okay. Don't, don't go sideways. Go down and up. And I'm going to show you a way to get out of that in just a minute. Okay. Now pull him up. Make sure his head is here. Okay. Yes, you can do that. That's probably not a good thing. Hold him as a unit. All right. This might be easier for him. What? Actually. You hold the board. Okay. You need to get belt and shoulder. Oh, that'd be good. Belt, that's good. belt and shoulder on each side. That puts the power equal over his body. Oh, that's a good idea. Now slide down. One, two, three. Is that easier? No, he counts. He counts, yeah. yes. Okay. We'll slide him back up. We, we go straight back. Or we're going Come up. up. Yeah. On three, one, two, three. Very good. Now, the straps always go distal to proximal. So we go to the bottom. Oh, the chest strap is the last one. You are there. You're committed. My hands move to do that. Roll your hands up. Roll your hands up. There you go. That's right. Keep a hold of the Good. Thank you. Good. Let's go. Hold it. Good. Let's go. Put his arm across his chest. Now. Do you tie the hands or do you tell them to keep their hands across the chest? If, if, if they're cooperative and they keep their hands across the chest, then that's great. If not, we'll tie them. Now, don't tilt the board to the side to get the straps out. No. Lift it up at the foot. Just lift it straight up at the foot. Just lift it straight up. There you go. Because that, lifts him, that puts him in a supine position in line versus tilting to one side or the other. The head straps to the board are the last ones to go in place. The head straps, chin strap are the last ones to go in place. You don't move. Okay, go ahead and secure those. And these are just adjustments on the um, headlocks.